Beep beep. What is up, ninjas? My name is Samworld, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get more complex chord progressions. Now, everyone's used to having that one bar chord, then second bar you switch, then third bar you switch, then fourth bar you switch. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make chord patterns that break that rule in or break that pattern in a way by simplifying it down. And if we simplify a lot of stuff down and explain it properly, I think a lot of people get it a little bit better. It can actually make amazing chord progressions that they never thought were possible so with that being said guys let's go straight into ableton we're gonna pull my ass up here and let's get straight into this guys so here we're gonna have pretty and we're gonna be working with this we're gonna be in the key of a minor for this so it's all the white keys we just start on a instead okay so we're gonna start the chord progression now the first tip i'm gonna give you guys is instead of worrying about three notes at once you know it's like a girl pleasing three you know what's at once we don't want to do that because if i were to try and make a chord progression or catch your doing this unless i'm like a music theory expert or i've been used you know making you know working with music theory for quite a while it's going to be really hard even for people that have been producing for 10 years because as a producer yes you're so, supposed to know various different things but a lot of the times it, it's like you don't need to know music theory to that extent so kind of getting used to working with chords like this is a little bit difficult for some people so what we're going to do is simplify it down and work with just one note with that being said think of it as a melody um just don't over can't make it complex so here let's say we have an a um let's try you know doing maybe going f a g or or a or yeah let's do that and then work our way here so let's just try and make something catchy here we can start at a so let's let's and you know we'll do like a melody thing here and then uh let's maybe go down you know and here we can switch it up to maybe go And then again, we can do a double note there if we want. Again, you know, if we were working with three notes, this would be really hard for people to do. But as you can see, we're just going to keep it simple for now. And then maybe we can bring it down to A. And then repeat that here. And then, uh, you know, don't follow. You don't have to get right on the beat as well. And maybe we can do two hits here maybe and uh, poly a we can do that here okay keeping it simple with one note only don't worry about the other notes we're gonna worry about that once we have our desired kind of bottom melody So there we go we have that and that's going to be our chord progression now look what happens once we start to do the chords now if you haven't if you guys have been watching my videos for quite a while you guys know this trick already but if you haven't let me simplify it down a minor is all the white keys so what we're going to do is count two notes up or three notes if you count the note you're on to find the next you know note in your chord so for instance if we're in a we're going to count up by two and it's going to be one two now you're only counting the notes in the scale and then we're going to do that here next note is d that's one and next note is e that's two so that's going to be the note here so now i'm going to have this okay now let's do that for all the other keys now because we we can agree we have something that sounds pretty catchy and um, again i'm just following this rule it's just that i know how to do it already so fast because i've been doing it for quite some time so that's why i'm just doing it like so to speed things up a little bit for you guys but yeah um it's a good rule and it's just moving up two notes from the note you're on um, you just got to make sure the notes you're counting, they're part of the scale. And, and that's it. So, you know, very simple here. And here we're going to do this. So let's check it out. So you can see there. Now, the cool thing about this is that when you go, let's say, from an F, and let's put this higher octave. You know, here we can switch this up because remember that rule going up plus two. So, you know, here we are one, two, and then this one is not in key. So we move that there and look how this sounds like. It's pretty. And you can add variations to this. Maybe you can just put this up an octave or, or go to an, a G instead. Again, following that same rule, one, two. And remember that. 
and you can start getting even more crazy with it and that's the thing guys this is just a little tip i give you guys it's theory it doesn't mean it's 100 percent the law or else it's gonna suck it's just these are my suggestions to you guys to make stuff you know make the music you want in simpler terms there's no need to you know make it super complex baby steps to get to where you want to be so let's finish this thing up um you know here we have the a so we can do that here and then we're gonna switch this up because you can see it plays again and i kind of want to add a little bit more variation here um the g we're gonna go to the b and then we're gonna go to a d and then the f will be the a and then the c there so let's switch this up here maybe this one can be uh like e and then uh, uh g and then this one will stay down here and then this one will go up here uh yeah let's try maybe we can try inverting the chord so that it's you know the ace up here and this is an inversion and let's see okay so we made it a little bit too complex so let's just bring it back down to where we were at um and then um let's see this is too high i think so we're just gonna leave this down here we're in f right so a c there and maybe this could go up to an e there. And then if you want to add again more variation just follow that rule if you're on a chord for instance the f you can play you know one two a for that chord one two c for that chord one two e or one two a high g so you know try this And this is how I made one of these chords that I so I showed on Snap, and a lot of people were asking me how you do that. And it's the same mentality. It's just again finding a catchy melody to start things off, and then just adding kind of like the chord on top of it. So that's where that comes from, guys. And that's how we make these kind of catchy chords here. Let's get rid of this, however, here, and this is how it sound like. I just had these sound here and this is a song i've been working on i'll show it to you guys eventually but it's pretty cool anyways ninjas i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you find this helpful and i'll see you guys next time take care and you guys have an amazing day it's my birthday today so i didn't want to take out the camera do a lot of editing because i'm going to spend time with the family all right ninjas take care and you guys have a good one